I can see he's lost one of his canine teeth on his lower jaw. We don't know this cat. It definitely isn't hairy foot, and he doesn't match any of our photos of known males. This courtship is difficult to understand. I'm sure Julie is pregnant from the mating with the ruler, Mudla. Yet here she is, mating with a young interloper. Maybe Julie is covering her options. If this young male should ever take over from Mudla, he will think twice about killing any of the cubs in case they're his. But it's risky for him, as up to 25% of males are killed in combat, and females are what they fight for. This handsome newcomer could easily put the cat amongst the pigeons. As a challenger, he would be a threat to the dominance of Hairyfoot and Mudla. Now they will need to be even more vigilant to protect their offspring to ensure their dynasty survives. But sneaky new males like this one bring essential new blood and vigor to the tiger population. As I've learned more about them, it seems to me that Mudla and Hairyfoot have learned to live peacefully in a divided kingdom. This stability is vital. The females need the king, the father of their cubs, to rule long enough so they can raise their offspring into the next generation. The turmoil that occurs when new males take over another male's dynasty is costly for all. But I'm happy to say that for the first time since I began my studies eight years ago, there are an encouraging number of possible kings of Panna. This should increase the chances for tigers to survive in this difficult environment. Despite the tragic loss of Sayani, Panna's tiger population is actually increasing, and it seems there are enough females to have at least two dominant males in the park, and maybe more. The new males are key for keeping the population healthy. Their breeding life is usually short, but their tactics for making the best of this time and leaving as many offspring as possible are what fascinate me most. The magnificent male tigers of Panna's emerald forest still hold many mysteries for us. Can the two Panna kings continue their reign? Or will the young challenger take over? Only when we return to Panna next season will we begin to know the answers. Maybe we will find more big males, more cubs, and more tigers to share their secrets with us. Mm -hmm.